Hey guys, what's up? Once again, it's Raynad back. Once again, it is Hearthstone reveal season for new cards from the new expansion. And once again, Blizzard has been gracious enough to provide me with a reveal card to show you before the expansion is out. And once again, I fully intend to complain about it uh, a month from now when I lose to it repeatedly. So without further ado, the card I have for you today is the brand new Warlock Legendary Clutch Mother Zavos. It's a really exciting card for the Discard Warlock deck. I personally am very excited that we have a card in Hearthstone that we can now call Mom. And I think this card is pretty powerful for the Discard Zoo deck. Pretty straightforward. It's the type of design that is either good enough to make every single deck list uh, that intends to have that discard synergy, or it's the kind of card that will never be see play in any of those decks. I think the power level is at a point where you are going to play it if you're playing discard zoo. You really want that third silverware golem effect. Fist of your axis, uh, which won't really be available in standard, um, even if it were available in standard, doesn't really cut it because it's not good in every matchup. When you're fighting for board control and you discard fist of your axis and you hit face, it's very, very bad uh, for... Uh, your game plan. So Clutch Mother doesn't have that problem. It's a card that you're always okay with discarding. Uh, if you pitch it one time, it's a fantastic card. If you don't pitch it, it's still a passable two drop. I mean, yes, it's worse than Dark Peddler. Yes, it's worse than playing Knife Juggler turn two. But at the end of the day, the stats are the same when you just play it out on curve as all the other two drops you're going to be running out. So um, the stats are fine to, to just, you know, if you have to use it as a two drop, you can do it and not feel too bad. So uh, overall, I think power level wise, it's a very um, solid card, and it's a card that we'll see play. And it's a card I can't really talk about without talking about the other Warlock Legendary revealed, which is the brand new Warlock Quest, Lakari Sacrifice. So, a lot of people, when they first build the Warlock discard deck, are going to auto include all these things. They're going to include Clutch Mother, they're going to play Lakari Sacrifice, they're going to throw in the Fellhound that was revealed, uh, you know, the new four drop for Warlock. And I think I'll do mostly the same just to test the cards out, but I personally feel like in the long run, Lakari Sacrifice might not be good enough to make every version of that uh, zoo deck that, that the discard Warlock deck will end up being. So, um, Lakari Sacrifice, those of you guys that don't know, one mana Warlock, I mean, you have it right here. Discard six cards, reward Nether Portal. What is Nether Portal? Nether Portal is a five mana portal. You play it, it sits there, takes up a minion slot, and at the end of every turn, it summons two Flame Imps uh, on either side of it. So, uh, I really, really love that they made a brand new card type, which is this, like, portal effect that you can't really interact with, but it's like a like an amulet in Shadowverse or like an enchantment in Magic, I think it's the kind of card that should have been experimented with more in Hearthstone. I'm really glad that we essentially have a new card type coming into the game uh, with, the, with the quests. So Nether Portal in and of itself is a card I don't feel like is good enough in most matchups. I feel like if I'm playing against anything that's aggressive or mid-rangey, Nether Portal is just a card, or not Nether Portal, but rather the Lakari Sacrifice, is a card that I'm going to mulligan away in my opening hand, because most of the time I would rather have one extra card to work with, one card to fill in my curve, and that's just something that's going to be a lot more important. Um, it's a powerful tournament card, maybe, if a deck like Control Warrior is prominent, or if the Kazakus decks are popular, um, but uh, unless you're playing against a very slow control deck, I just don't feel like... Nether Portal is good enough. That's the honest truth. You go down a card to do it. You skip your one drop. It costs mana to play the secret. It takes two turns before you get five mana worth out of the portal. It's a card that is a lot less powerful than it looks, as cool of an effect as it is. So when I talk about Clutch Mother Zavas, I feel like the uh, Lakari Sacrifice at least won't really be a part of that deck. Uh, Fellhound I'm still on the fence on because I still feel like Defender of Argus is a better card most of the time, but now that you have Clutch Mother, now that you have two Silver War Golems, you really have to consider running all these discard effects because the card Fellhound will pretty consistently let you pitch whatever cards it is that you want to pitch. But it does mess with your Doom Guard, it messes with your Soul Fires, there's some anti-synergy there, so it's really going to take some experimenting to really find like the right balance of discard effects versus uh, just traditional zoo cards that you want to be playing. Uh, I don't think the controlling discard deck is really going to be a thing. I mean, there's a chance, right? Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, Soul Fire is a good removal spell. You could play Clutch Mother in a control deck. Fellhound's probably better in a control deck than it is in aggro. Uh, but 
uh, until we see more type of discard effects, uh, it's really tough for me to imagine a discard-oriented deck other than Zoo. So one of the reasons I usually wait until the end of the card reveals in order to do a set review is because I, I want to be able to give you guys like a good honest opinion of all the cards with all the context around them. So um, I'm going to you know reserve judgment on the deck, uh, the possibility of control discard Warlock, uh, you know, until I see some more cards, maybe they include like a silver or golem that like heals you uh, rather than being an aggressive card, uh, you know, and that that might change my mind on the uh, control oriented discard deck. But you know, that'll all come at the uh, journey to Angora set review that I'll do once all the cards are spoiled. Until then, here's Mom. She's magnificent. She had two mana, two two attacks and stuff. It's got that sweet beast synergy for absolutely nothing, uh, as of now at least. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to, to try it out. Excited for the expansion journey to Ungoro coming early April. See you guys soon with more videos.